Good morning, y'all. It's a little bit different setup this morning, just a change of pace, no particular reason. I do want to do a little bit different study over the next few days. I don't know exactly how long it'll be. I guess you could call this the view from the pastor study, if you're going to call it anything. But I want to talk about the tyranny of the urgent, the tyranny of the urgent. That is actually a little pamphlet, a little book by Charles Hummel. I remember reading it in college, and it had a profound effect on my life. Now, I haven't always been the best at applying it, but the principles he brings forth are worth noting as Christians. So, the tear in the urgent, basically, to sum it up, is the idea that important things don't always cry out for our attention, but urgent things do. And urgent things aren't always important. And the idea is to make sure that by the time you leave this life, you've taken care of the important and not let the urgent get in the way. So I want to read to you a verse from John 17, verse 4, and I want you to listen to Jesus' words and just reflect upon them for a second with regard to your own life. Because when it comes to living life, I believe all of us would agree that we want to follow the example of Jesus as much as possible. He's praying the high priestly prayer in John 17, and he says these words to the Father. I have glorified you, Father, on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. Now just think about that for a second. I have finished the work that you have given me to do. I think we can speak with certainty that there were people that were still sick when Jesus died. There were people that had still not been raised from the dead. There were still people who were struggling in their sin. There were people who were dealing with all sorts of different maladies and diseases and needed healing and help and all those different things. There were still people and there were still needs. And we know Jesus we don't know of a single person Jesus denied healing or help, as far as I can remember. But he says at the end of his three-plus-year ministry and his 33-year life, I finished the work you've called me to do. Which says to me it was not the urgent things. He hadn't taught everybody in the world. He hadn't healed everybody in the world. But he came and did the important thing, the important thing. He came to give his life as a ransom for many. He came to validate who he was and reveal who he was through his teaching and his miracles. He came to give us the example of how one lives life, how one suffers, how one walks on this world, and how one's supposed to be a person in this world. He never sinned. But yet at the end of his life, he was able to say, I have finished the work which you have given me to do. To Jesus, the important outweighed the urgent. And for us, the important must outweigh the urgent. Now, are there some urgent things that are important? Yes, absolutely. But there's a lot of urgent things that aren't. And when we get through with this life, one of the greatest things that we can potentially pray is, Lord, I finish what you left me here to do. So I'm going to leave you with that today. Has, have you finished or are you finishing what he left you here to do? Because he left you here to do something. Is it the thing you're doing? So I pray God gives you a great Monday. I pray that you'll be blessed by the fact that God has called you to the greatest task ever. And may God give us all the strength to do that task first and most in our lives. God bless.